Hi, everybody. Welcome back. My name is Mr. Campbell from MrCampbellRocks.com. I'm a former middle and high school English teacher now working as an administrator doing my best to help teachers be successful. So today we're going to talk about the Google Meet Classroom extension, but in all reality, it is a whiteboard extension that's native within Google Meet. So you can pull that in right there when you're running a Google Meet meeting. Uh, created by a professor up in Idaho. So congrats to him. We'll put the links and information down here. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Google. You're going to search Google Meet Classroom Extension right here. It's going to be the first one that pops up. It came out about a week ago. You're going to click on that. Uh, you're familiar with installing extensions. I already have it installed. It's right up here with a little whiteboard with three people here. Um, so I'm not going to remove it from Chrome. Um, but we'll jump over to Meet and we'll start a meeting. And we're just going to put in a code really quick. And because I already have it installed, once I join the meeting, you'll see that I have this extension right down here where it's whiteboard. Now, it's important to note that this is not an interactive whiteboard. This is a presentation whiteboard. So if you're presenting to your class or to students, they cannot interact with the whiteboard unless they have their own extension installed on their computer and then they could show their screen and you could go back and forth that way. The great thing is about this, it has math in it and so you can actually type out math problems and work out the math problems there um, with that. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to hit present now, right? And then we'll jump on whiteboard. And so let's go through this really quick to show you some of the things that you can do. Obviously, you're selecting colors here. You have a palette option here if you want to go around the color wheel. The plus and the minus or the minus and the plus is the size of your cursor here. Right. Again, if I want to clear it off, um, I can grab the eraser, which is down here with the E and just erase everything. And I can obviously make this bigger or smaller. I want to erase all that. Or what I can do is just hit the trash can and that clears that out. Okay. So this is the writing part. Now, if I click over on the eraser again, I just showed you that was the eraser part. This is the writing part or doodling part. Now we have a couple options here. We can actually type here. We're going to click save here. And what it's going to do is it's going to pull a little text box over here that we can then drag and drop around here. If I want to edit it, I click on that little pencil again. So to drag and drop this, those arrows, I can move this around here. If I want to edit that, I click on the pencil. If I want to trash can that, I can do that as well. Okay. Now, if I leave that here, we'll just leave it here. We'll save that. We'll tape that. Now let's jump over to the math formula. So what you'll have is you'll have the K text format. I'm not a math teacher, but you can add symbols and different things like that. If you have a, a virtual math calculator here, when you click on K text, it's going to open up a new URL and show you all of the hot keys or the hot buttons on how to add those different um, signs in the math problems there. So we'll close that out. Um, we're going to save that. And you'll see that my math problem is right here. So we're going to delete that typed up here. So I have a math problem here. The nice thing is, is I can go back to my pencil and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. And I can actually write on this right there. Right? Again, uh, if I wanted to erase that, I can just go there. And again, these are separate. So I would need to go back to my writing tool and erase and I can clear. You saw that little mark up here again. So this is the whiteboard natively built into Google Classroom. If you're here, it's because you're an educator or a teacher working through the classroom on a whiteboard. Just want to let you know that I love you. I appreciate you. And I'm glad that you're here.